Hey guys, welcome back. I am Jazzy Denise and thank you so much for clicking on that video thumbnail whenever you did. So, as you can see, I have my hair braided. In my last hair video, I showed you guys how to get these braids, but now it is time to take them out. So we're going to go ahead and take down these braids and we are going to wash my hair in this video today. Not only are we washing it, this is a re-moisturizing wash day video. I want to put as much moisture into my hair as possible throughout the entire wash process. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so once my hair is sectioned off, I like to go in with this scalp dandruff relief treatment. It's basically just a treatment that you put all over your head and you just massage it in with your hands and let it sit for a little bit. This helps to break up any buildup dandruff, flakiness, or anything like that during the washing process. Alright, so for the first part of moisture, I'm going to take my favorite conditioner right now, which is that Organics Hair Mayonnaise, and I'm going to take that conditioner and coat the entire section of my hair from root to tip. I am going to oversaturate my section of hair uh, simply because I want to make sure that that moisture is getting in my hair and staying in my hair. Once I'm through with those sections, I'm going to just tie them up and put on a little cap and let that sit for a bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and let me tell you guys, this was my first time filming a video like this in my shower. I usually just skip the washing process altogether, but I wanted to try something different and I learned a lot of lessons really quickly, let me tell you. Mainly just remove all floor mats and make sure your shower head angle is pointing in a good direction, otherwise your floor will be soaked. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and wash some of this conditioner out and then I'm going in with a moisturizing shampoo, something that's not going to dry my hair out while I wash it because I know this is backwards. I'm conditioning then shampooing, but I feel that when I do my hair this way, I retain a lot more moisture. This works for me. It might not work for everybody else, but this is the method that I've been using as of late and my hair seems to be flourishing. So I decided to go ahead and share. Just go ahead and put that shampoo into your hair section, mark it in really good, and rinse it on out. Okay, so to help seal in this moisture that I'm trying to retain, I like to use aloe vera juice. I take some aloe vera juice and put it in this old oil bottle that I have and I just go ahead and use about a third of it per rinse, wash, and just coat it all over the section. I don't too much work it in, I just try to make sure that it gets all over my hair. I can feel it on my scalp and on my ends and I just stand under the shower head a little bit and just let it run down. Now that I've dried my hair a little, I'm going to separate it into quadrants and then I'm going to take that back quadrant and split it in half. So for the half that I'm working with, I'm going to take oil and put it specifically on my scalp and ends and then I'm going to take grease, any hair grease, I'm using Blue Magic and I'm going to put it on my ends and down the shaft and I'm going to work that in really good. After that, I'm going to take my blow dryer with the comb attachment because it makes life easier 
I'm gonna set it on high because it makes life so much easier and I'm gonna blow dry that section until it's dry then I'm gonna twist it up with a few extra products seen later for the style So now I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to prep my hair for styling. So I'm going to do the same thing to blow dry the section, the oil, the grease, and then blow dry it. I'm going to split this section in half, pin half of it out of the way. Now I'm going to take a little bit of leave-in conditioner, coat the section, and follow that up with a little bit of gel for hold. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do like a regular French braid down the entire shaft of the hair. Once I get to the end, I'm gonna braid it down just a little bit and then I'm gonna take those three sections, make two of them one, and do a regular two strand twist down the rest of the braid. So that's it. After that, I like to just go in with my oil one more time and get all of those parted sections and then I tie it up and get ready for bed. Alright, so it's the next day and I'm going to go ahead and take down my hair. It's completely dry. I like to coat my hands in oil before taking it down in braids just to go ahead and reduce any extra frizz. But yeah, here's a good texture shot so you can see how it looks with this method. I love doing this on lazy days when I know I have somewhere to go the next day, but I don't really feel like styling my hair. Using this method to wash my hair assures me that my hair will be nice and juicy and soft and buttery once I'm done with it. I love doing this. It just feels so good and soft. And here is your base. You can do anything from this style. When I first went in, I thought I wanted a middle part, but I shortly realized I hated the way my hair looked with a middle part. So I took my hair and I threw it to the side, created me some bangs, and there you go, honey. Your hair is done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope this video was very much informable and enjoyable for you guys. Don't forget to be you and be beautiful. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.